Okay, I just wanted to throw this video up, uh, just showing a little bit about the differences between Matrix Gold and Matrix 9. I think the big one of the biggest ones right here, if you watch Matrix Gold one right at the top left, uh, you can see placing the profiles, no, not a huge difference, but right here, uh, you, after picking, you already placed one, you don't have to go back, you can just hover over your uh, curve and place uh, another profile. You don't have to go back, add, and then drag it around or anything like that. Uh, with is the time saver. And another one right here is after you place the profiles, you just have to click one button and do the sweep. You don't have to go back in and uh, do the uh, sweep one command like you would in Matrix 9 or the earlier Matrix programs uh, if it's a closed curve, uh, a closed uh, uh, rail or closed sweep, right? Uh, so that's uh, some of the differences r there. I you know, I'm not trying to sell you the program. I'm just trying to point the, some of the difference out so you can make a good, educated decision on uh, whether Matrix Gold is, a, is the way for you to go. Uh, I can tell you I purchased the program about nine months ago, uh, a little over maybe nine months. And uh, I, I, the first month, I probably was not real happy <laughs> uh, just trying to get used to it again, uh, a different way of doing it. Where's the commands at? How do you do this? Where, where's that at? Just the normal stuff you would with any program when you first started Matrix, uh, earlier Matrix, nine, seven, eight, whatever. Uh, you know, but once you get going on, I'd say after a month and a half, two months, uh, you're, you're, it's, it's just like uh, you're using uh, the earlier program, uh, Matrix 9, uh, or earlier. Uh, there, it's just so much more intuitive, uh, more friendly, I guess you, one would say. Uh, you can go back and alter designs very quickly. You can watch things as they happen, you know, as you're moving things around. Like if you're trying to do an edit, uh, you can uh, actually see it as it's doing it. Uh, and to me, that to me that's huge. Again, don't be a hater. I'm just trying to give you some more, uh, uh, I guess, uh, a look. Uh, and see what this is one thing right here that I did like in Matrix 9 though you were able to see the bullion uh, as you're doing it so you can kind of uh, get in there and do it but t uh, that's definitely not a deal breaker for myself uh, I uh, you know it's I like I said I've been using the program for a while now and I, I have no regrets uh, I do believe it is the future of the industry and it will be the standard here uh, in no time at all. Uh, and with the updates and uh, the work that they're really putting into it, uh, I, I think that uh, we're, we're done already in uh, MG uh, and M9. We're just uh, finishing up a little bit more. Um, like I said, this is the very, very basic, and they're both done pretty much the same. 2.5 millimeter channel set band. Uh, the top is 4 millimeter by 2.5 millimeter. Bottom is 2.5 by 2.5. I tried to do them as close as possible in the same way, using the F9 key or F6 key to uh, get the uh, a hot key out there and, and use that as much as possible. Um, but uh, you know, I, I hope the video helps you just give you a little bit of insight and look at, at the differences between the two and helps you make a decision on, you know, whether the program's good for you. Uh, you know, to me, like I said, no regrets. Uh, but I, I hope it helps. And if it does, please uh, let me know. Uh, if it doesn't, please let me know too. But don't be a hater. Again, I'm just trying to, to help you make a decision. So uh, thanks for watching. Good designing. Enjoy your day.